Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. My name is Angel and I am here today for Share a Daughter Sunday with my beautiful Ochi. She's our adopted little Asian baby. I got her unpainted off of AliExpress and I reborned her. She is completely painted now with beautiful brown glass eyes and she is such a beautiful baby. I definitely am going to be rooting her. Again, all the rooting is going to be done through the fall and winter. I've got like seven or eight babies to go, but as they come into rotation, they will be fully painted. And I just love the way this one turned out. I love all the uh, little things I did with her, the little milk spots. I gave her a couple little moles and uh, some blemishes. She's just gorgeous, you guys. And look at her just stare at you. All my babies love that ring light. Yes, they do. And she doesn't even care. She's just staring up at that ring light. So we're going to change her today. We're going to do our first fall uh, look on her. She's going to start the fall looks. Um, I do have to do a spotlight on her because I have not done a spotlight yet on little Oshi. We're also going to do a tag. But let's start with God. We're going to do our Billy Graham wisdom for each day. And today, uh, I got lost my place. We are on October 24th. Can you believe how fast this month is going, you guys? It's crazy. All right, this one is called Witch Wing. What good is it, my brothers, if a man claims to have faith but has no deeds? Faith by itself, if it is not occupied by actions, it's dead. James 2, 14 through 17. Which wing of an airplane is more important? Obviously, both are equally necessary, and therefore both are equally important. Which is more important, what we believe about God or what kind of life we live? Again, both are equally necessary, necessary, and therefore both are equally important. In fact, the Bible says that if we claim to be, or if we claim to believe in Christ, but it doesn't make any difference in the way we live, then our faith isn't really genuine. That is the exact point James was making in the verses above. This doesn't mean we must be perfect because we never will be this side of eternity. But it does warn us about the dangers of a shallow belief in Christ that isn't honest or real. Don't let this be true of you. At the same time, don't lose sight of the fact that we are saved solely by our faith in Christ, not by our good deeds. Only Christ can save us, for only he was the sinless son of God who took all our sins upon himself when he died on the cross for us. As the Bible says, by grace you have been saved through faith, Ephesians 2, 8. What difference will Christ make in your life today? Wow, that was really great, you guys, and it's so true. You know, what good is it if you claim to be a Christian, if you do, you, you know, you're not reading the word, you're not praying, um, you're just doing everything that you would have done prior to believing in Christ and all of that. You're not trying to do anything to change, um, you know, everything you did before. You just, you know, you're saying, well, I believe in Christ. I mean, it says in the Bible, if you believe you're going to heaven, you know, what good is it if you're not putting into practice what the Bible teaches, you know, trying to be as Christ-like as we can, asking for forgiveness. We know that we are sinners. That's what it said here. God knows that we sin. We all live in glass houses. And so none of us should throw stones at anybody because none of us are perfect. I am the farthest from perfect ever. I do love God. I do read the scriptures. I do uh, pray to God. I do spend time with Jesus and all that. But do I do it every day? No, I try. Am I perfect every day? No. Do I make mistakes? Absolutely. But I know that I have a great relationship with God. I want even a bigger one. But I do have a good relationship with God. I do know many things in my life that I want to make even better. I want to be as more, you know, more Christ-like as I can. I strive every day to try to be my best. And then there's days that I just mess up and I feel so guilty and I talk to God and I tell him I'm sorry and all that. But again, you know, what good is it to, you know, just get up one day and say, well, I believe in Christ because somebody told me if I believe I'm going to heaven, but then just walk the same exact life. What good is it to tell somebody you're a Christian and then you're around your friends and you're cussing and swearing and, and all of that? Now, do we all do it? Absolutely. Have I said bad words? Yeah, I'm not perfect. I have. But then you'll have that guilty conscience inside of you telling you, Angel, that wasn't right. You should talk that way. Um, you know, how do you claim to be a Christian? But then, you know, 
walk the way you're walking or talk the way you're talking, you know, and not living right for God. So it is important that if you're going to, you know, get that relationship with God, you know, with Jesus, that good personal relationship with Jesus, then obviously it's so important to, um, you know, get your walk right, you know, to really be working and striving every day to have your walk right with God. Uh, reading his word. That's what's going to help you to live the best Christian life you can. And thank God that we are sinners saved by grace. But it doesn't mean that we can just say, you know, I'm well, I'm just going to keep sinning because I mean, I'm saved by grace, you know? No. I mean, we're going to try and work our hardest to be the best we can. We're going to make mistakes though. But let's just try the best we can. And I like that how it says, which wing? You know, just saying um, in that part where it says about, you know, the two things. Um, you know, the important, it says, which is more important, what we believe about God or what kind of life we live? Again, both are equally necessary and therefore both are important. So it's not, you know, just important that we believe in God, but it's also important what kind of life we live. Like I was saying, we need to live our life as Christ, Christ like as we can. Uh, the wisdom for today is let us not deceive ourselves, Lord, by being haters of the word without doing what it is we've been told to do. James 1, 22. Boy, that's great wisdom. I want to read that again. Let us not deceive ourselves, Lord, by being hate. Um, he oh, hearers. I said haters. I don't know why I said the word haters. That's why I needed to reword it or reread it because it sounded weird. Let us not deceive ourselves, Lord, by being hearers of the word without doing what it is we've been told to do. Uh, James 1, 22. That's why I needed to read it over because I said haters, but I did in my heart hear the word hearers, and I thought, I'm going to reread that because I knew I said it wrong. Um, but yes, if we're going to hear the word without doing what the word says, what good is it, right? So again, like I was saying, what good is it if you say that I'm a Christian, claim to be a Christian, but you do not live your life at all Christ-like, you know? Let's start our day, go through our day, and end our day with life's manual. Let's read it, study it, get a great personal relationship with Jesus, but not only reading and studying, but honoring, obeying, and living by this word because they go hand in hand. They're both necessarily important. Uh, getting your salvation, which is all in, you know, read in Romans how to get your salvation. And then once you get your salvation, we need to continue to read his word and live it right. That's both necessary for God. You know, he just doesn't want us to say we believe and that's it and live the same life we lived before being uh, a Christian and getting our salvation. It's so important. So blow off the dust. If you haven't read your Bible in ages, blow the dust off. And pick it up and read it. Get your salvation today. If you did the 23rd, write it down. You know that you are heaven bound, but live that life Christ-like. Don't just read the word, live by the word and honor it. Obey it and, uh, you know, do what the Bible says. Do what the Bible says. But we are all going to make mistakes. We are. And I am not perfect. Please don't think I am just because I read to you guys. I also need my alone time with God. And there's days that I miss it and, you know, I know what I got to do to make things in my life right. Work on only your life. Don't worry about anybody else's. I read these for mine, but I hope that I can help somebody out there that needed to hear this today. Um, and uh, knowing, you know, saying, wow, yeah, you know, that's right. I need to live my life a little bit better because I certainly ain't living it right. You know, it just, it helps people out there, but I got to live mine right too. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed those. Now we're going to get on to Oshi. <clears throat> we're going to do a spotlight on her. And here's the cute little fall outfit we're going to put on her. I've had this for quite a while. I got it um, before. Uh, I think I got it like in the springtime. I can't remember. I don't even think I even showed you guys this. Got it from TJ Maxx for $7.99. I love TJ Maxx so much. It is a um, Elaine uh, or Ellen DeGeneres. I mean, it's an Ellen DeGeneres. Newborn. That's cool. It says love on it. It's got... It's a cream, well, it's more, is it more cream? Yeah, it's more cream with gray little dots. It kind of rounds the uh, buttons that are snaps round like that instead of going straight down. It kind of rounds to the side and then down. It's got a gray, um, gray a cream color um, just tied um, like knot here, like in a bow. And it says love in red. And then on the back of it, it's got a big heart on the butt and it says love. And it's in the writing of the heart. So that's embroidered. And as it comes down in the second line of the heart, in the heart, it says love. Almost like an EKG. It's almost looking like it's an EKG, if you know what that means. But the front embroidered, it just says the word love. Has a matching little knotted hat. I'm going to give her a hat. I usually do bows. We're going to do a hat this time on her uh, just to keep her warm. But yeah, isn't this precious, you guys? And I really love this. It's a footy and hat set, it says. But what? oh, it says... 
snow white actually it is white to me it looked cream i guess it's snow white <laughs> it doesn't look white to me it looks cream but anyways i guess it's white so we're going to put this on her um i do want to put little socks on her and i think she has a onesie on does she no we're going to do a onesie on her as well so if you give me just a moment i'm sorry you guys let me grab a onesie and grab a pair of socks for her and then we'll get started but yeah i am just Loving our little Oshi. She's just going to look up at you while Mommy finds a onesie for her. And I love that my nursery is right here in my dining room. You guys are in the living room. And my dining room are together. They're connected together. So it's nice that hopefully you can hear me. I know you can because I'm like right here. But I got a cute little nursery. If you haven't seen it, I, I got it up there. Um, but I'm going to do a, a updated one because I've got new babies and I've got new babies coming, you guys. I'm going to be doing some box opening. I am so excited. Yes, I was on Reborns.com, you guys. Shame on me. Shame on me. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. It says it's Snow White, but look at the outfit and then look at the onesie. The whites totally look different. This is pure white and that just looks more cream. I don't know. Oh, and then going down... The side, I didn't notice that. It's got a red line going down where the snaps are. It's got the red uh, stitching in there. So that's kind of cute. But we got our socks and a onesie. All right, Oshi. Hi, beautiful girl. Hi. Hi, pretty. Yes, you're my pretty girl. Yeah, and you know what? Minnie's going to hear. And Minnie's going to come running. Because she's thinking I'm saying when I say pretty girl, it's for her. And it is. She's our fur baby, huh? Why is this thing all messed up? Why is it all messed up? Why is it tilting to the side? What's going on? <laughs> what is going on? Why is it tilting? Yeah, guys, I cannot figure out why this thing is tilting on me. The bed. It's acting weird. Yeah, I say, why is this acting so weird? Maybe I gotta stick the other one under. Let's do the other one. Maybe the other one will hold it up better. Yeah, maybe that will hold it up better. Yeah, there we go. And she's kind of turning her head a little bit towards me. And she wants to look at mommy. Let me make sure she's in frame. <clears throat> make sure you guys can see her good. Yeah, you guys can see her. We'll back away just a little bit. But you guys can still see her. Oh, she's a beauty, isn't she? Yeah, she's so pretty. Let's talk about you, okay? Let's pull out your nook. Can mommy have your nook? Yeah. Can I have your nook? Hi. <laughs> See that, you guys? Look at that open mouth. She takes a nook so good. And look at her little mole. She's got milk spots. I'll just quickly bring her little face up to the camera so you can see her. Look at that. Look at the little milk spots. The wetness in the eyes there that I did. Her little uh, suck bump on her lip and her little mole. Isn't she gorgeous, you guys? Oh, my gosh. Look at the ears. She's got her ears pierced. She's so pretty. Yeah. And there's more prettiness on her. Oh, did you guys see that great veining, too, on her forehead? Look at that veining. Isn't that, you know, phenomenal? And it made, you know, made her a real light baby, but gave her some blushing. She's so pretty. Yes. Yes, you're so pretty. Why is this thing acting silly today? Why? Why is it acting silly? Okay, you guys. So let's go ahead and talk about Oshi. Oshi is a little stinker. Yes, you are a little stinker. Yes, you are. Say you get really, really mad. Yes. Say you are one baby that gets really mad when you cannot have your way. Yeah. I did a little, um, uh, what took off her bracelet. Cute bracelet. She's got all the flowers on it. Um, she's got the umbilical scab on her belly, and I'm going to show you that up close, how beautiful it is. It's even raised like it's supposed to be. She's got the little mole here on the inside of her arm, like her mommy. I've got one on my arm. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. And she's got one, too. And she also has a birthmark, just like her mommy, on her arm. I'm going to get her up to the camera one more time, just to show you that beautiful um, scab, you know, the umbilical scab. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Look at that. It's raised. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like that raisin, right? That I always called it a little raisin. I was able to save my son's. His fell off and I saved it and I still have it put away. So let's try. There's her birthmark on her arm. And then she's got that little mole. And then all of her beautiful art. Look at her beautiful art, you guys. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at her toes. Let's see if I'm getting it in right. Look at those feet. Oh, so pretty. And then does she have a mole on the bottom of her foot? Yep. 
She's got a mole like mommy. She has it on the same foot as mommy too. I don't know. I didn't plan it that way, but she has pretty much everything like me. The birthmark I planned that way, and here's my birthmark. See, I've got it on the arm too, and we have it on the same arm. We have the same, the mole on the opposite arms though, because the mole is on my arm with my birthmark. Hers is opposite, but the bottom of her foot, I got one too. I don't know if my feet are dirty, sorry, but I got one right there too. I hope you guys can see that. There's my mole. And she's got a mole too. Say, yeah, say, you're just like mommy. You're a mini mommy. Yeah. We almost put that little outfit on you that said mini, uh, mommy's mini. Yeah. That would have been cute. So we're going to put the little socks on her. But yeah, she's a little stinker. She really is. Um, when uh, it's time to eat and, you know, we're making her bottle and stuff like that, she just screams her little head off. She wants her way. She wants yeah. it now. She doesn't want to wait. Reminds me of my son when he was born. Man, he couldn't wait. <laughs> but most babies can't. When they're hungry, they're hungry. But she just gets so mad. Like when I, she lays next to um, Willow in the crib, Willow and um, Sebastian. She's next to them in the crib. And if I am favoring them or talking to them or anything, oh, this little girl will belt it out. It's like she knows, like she is so jealous. She needs mommy's time. Yes, she needs mommy's time. Oh, I got a little mole on this side of her, um, too. Yeah, we gave her a lot of fun um, little moles and stuff like that just to show real true life, right? Yeah, real true life. But, yeah, she, she belts it out, and it's, it's uh-uh, she is not having it. She wants mommy's attention, and she doesn't want me to give it to any other baby but her. But she is a really sweet baby, too. She took to our family very well. And we just love her. We just love her. But she is definitely a stinker. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm going to have to find out when I got her if she's the little fire sign because she's a little fire baby, too. She's a little uh, little pit bull. She is. Um, but she is a sweetheart. She really is. She's a sweet baby. She is. She's very sweet. Um, but, uh, yeah, wants her way. And if she doesn't get her way then that's it. She's not crazy when it comes to bath time. She, um, I don't know, she's not really into the water. Oh, I love that. They're All my babies, once they're sealed with that silicone velvet, I mean, look at how the clothes just slide on. And I don't have to powder them. I love that. I mean, they just slide right on her. I mean, you can't do that with, I mean, I watch people use those bags, you know, to be able to put the clothes in the baby because they're afraid, you know, of ruining the silicone. I mean, it just slides on her. Uh-oh. I mean, I forgot to get this off. Yeah, make sure I get this little tag with it but um yeah she doesn't like the bath she, i don't know she doesn't like the water um and i i would think with the warm water she would like it there's been a couple times she's been okay but she doesn't like the, the bath she you know, she doesn't like to get wet i guess she doesn't like to get wet i don't know we're gonna have to find out as she gets older let's hope that you don't hate water um but she is just a stinker that's all i can tell you she is a stinker but I wouldn't change it for nothing because that's her personality. And yeah, she's being very good right now because why? Mommy's giving her the attention. Oh my gosh, is this cute on her. But it is a little long, so we're going to tuck it back inside. I like it better to tuck it back than to tuck it over. It just looks nicer. I've always done it that way. If you, you know, tuck it over, you can't tell then, you know, that you did it. It just looks much more cleaner and nicer. So yeah, yeah. And I don't know why you keep turning it. Why do you keep turning that yeah. baby's turn in here? Again, you little stinker, you. You're going to take your headband off, and we're going to put your hat on. But she looks darling in this. She does. I think this hat's going to fit her pretty good, too. It's got a little knot on it. I think it will be okay. Aw, yes. Oh, she. I haven't seen you in a hat in a while. Yeah, what's this little string here? Mommy's got to get that little string off. Hang on. Let mommy get this off. I gotta cut this off. Hang on, guys. Well, I was able to break it off, so I didn't have to get up and get a scissors. Thank God. <clears throat> Aw, you are just cute. Yes, you are. Mwah. Hi. Are you talking? Yeah, you love to talk. You love the attention. Yes, you love the attention. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yeah. Yeah, you love the attention. Yeah. I love you, baby girl. Mwah. I do. Sweet, sweet little 
pit bull. <laughs> yeah, this hat's a little bit big on her, so I'm going to pin it um, after I get off. I'll pin it before I take photographs of her. But we're going to turn her so she can look up at that ring light again. Yeah, so she can look at you guys. Hopefully she is. There, look at, look at all of them. Isn't this sweet on her, you guys? And she is loved, and it says love. And she loves, yeah. You want back your bear, your prayer bear? Yeah, you need that because you need to keep holy. <laughs> and we'll put her little bracelet back on her. Um, I forgot her little nook. I'll grab the nook. I got a little cream nook for her. Well, it's a, a more white, um, but it matches really good with that. So let me grab that for her and make sure she's in frame. Good for you guys. Oh, isn't she precious, you guys? Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. I can't wait to see her with hair. I'm gonna do it very baby fine. And um, let's see, what did we do with your nooker? There it is. Um, we're gonna do it very baby fine and um, do the eyebrows and all of that. But here's her nook, so it goes with it. She, as far as nooks, she can, um, she likes them and then she don't. So there's certain times that she wants it. As you see, when we came on, she had it in. And uh, some days she is okay without it. She's kind of a baby that can take it sometimes and leave it sometimes, you know? She doesn't always have to have it. Whereas I have some babies that are definitely nook babies. But, oh my goodness, she is so pretty, you guys. We're going to try to prop this up a little bit more so she can look. But anyways, that's about Oshi, a little pit bull, a little spit, or a uh, little pit bull, a little spitfire. Yeah, you little spitfire. I love you so much. You're okay. That's okay to have that personality. Why don't you look up at the camera, up at the ring light while mommy does the tag. I'm going to do the tag, you guys. This tag is um, from, uh, it's by Ann, or it's from Dolls in the Cradle, and that's Ann. She's the one that uh, hosted this. So I will tag you, Ann, and I thank you for doing this tag. I'm excited to do it. So we'll get started. Number one, say something nice about yourself. Um, that's always been a really hard one for me because I'm just, I don't know. I have such a hard time finding something nice about me. But I would say if I had to, I would say I have a big heart. I do. I'm a person that will forgive someone in two seconds. Yeah, they can be as rotten and as, you know, whatever to me. And two seconds later, I'm very forgiving. Uh, my, you know, husband, we can get in a fight and two seconds later he can say sorry and it's done. It's over with. I don't even care what it even was about. I'm very forgiving. Um, I, I just, I do I have a really big heart. I want to help as many people as I can. I want to do what I can for people. I'm a giver. Um, so I would say I love my heart. I love the heart God gave me. And I remember when I found out about my heart condition thinking um, I was put on a heart transplant list back in 19, 1998. And my heart was that of an 83-year-old and it was only functioning at 8%. And they had me on a heart on a heart trans, our heart transplant list. And I prayed to God. I said, God, please don't take the heart that I was born with. Please don't take my heart. Now, I know that a heart, you know, is there just to function and all that. But I wanted to keep the heart that God gave me. Who doesn't? I mean, you, nobody wants a heart transplant. But I'm just saying, I asked God, please, please, God, can I keep my heart, the heart you gave me? Um, and I thank him for doing that. I just feel like I have a big heart and not that that would have made me a different person, but I'm just saying I wanted the heart that God gave me that I was born with. And so I would say I, I like the heart I have. I like that I have a big heart for people and I, I'm such a giver, you know, just, just my mom said that when I was, um, or a lot of people say that my name fits me perfect, that I'm an angel. I'm not, I'm not perfect. You guys, I make a lot of mistakes, but I would say that my heart. Okay, number two, if you had 30 minutes to spend 5000 in one brick and mortar store, what store would it be? I would say, you guys, um, if there is one, um, any baby store, okay? And I think that, I can't remember the names of it, but whichever one's out there would be a baby store. Oh, I could shop all day long for my babies. I love shopping for my babies, for babies I'm selling. I... Oh, I could spend all day in it, but yes, I would love to spend $5,000 on my babies. More onesies, nooks, you know, bows, shoes, clothes, um, toys, you name it. I love to buy for my babies. I loved buying for my son when he was born. I love baby stuff. So any baby store, that would be a brick and mortar. So number three, um, name something that gets on your last nerve. Oh, 
when my husband and I go to bed and he won't, like if we're in a fight and he doesn't want to end the argument, he goes to bed without, you know, the makeup part, you know, making up. I don't want to go to bed with anger on my heart. And I literally will fight with him to get him to just say, "Can it, please, will you give me a kiss goodnight? I love you, I love you, I love you. Oh, I can't stand going to bed with anger on the heart. I, I, that is my biggest pet peeve. It gets on my last nerve. I, and I literally, I will be fighting with him to try to make up because I want to make up so bad. I want to go to bed with both of us at peace and not fighting because I, I don't want to think that when I wake up, it's going to continue the fight. So that would be something definitely that gets on my last nerve that my husband is so stubborn. He's very stubborn and he, he does, you know, he, he, no, he, does not do it he will go to bed and that's that and it's just it doesn't matter how much i fight and argue or anything he just said just go to bed everything's fine we'll talk about it tomorrow but i'm like well give me a kiss no 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 so i would say that's what gets on my last nerve because i i'm just a lover you guys i hate fighting and then i keep fighting number four tell me something you can never um, find when you need it um i guess there's many things but I'm going to say one of the biggest things is my earbuds, you guys. I lose my, the, the battery pack to it. I lose that battery pack constantly. And I can never find it when I need it. My earbuds, you know, go out of me and I need to charge them. And I can never find them. I have no idea why I don't just put it in one certain spot, you know, or put it in my purse so it's always there. I don't know why. But that would be the one thing that I can never find when I need it is my earbuds to charge them. Because they charge in that port, literally the, the iPhone ones, they charge in the port in like 20 minutes and I can use it again. So my earbud case, I would say the case, I can never find that. And number five, what is your favorite part of your daily routine? I would say playing with my babies and making videos with for you guys. That is my favorite part. I absolutely love making my videos where I get to spend some quality, good time with my babies. But I would say even before that is if I can get my time with God, my time with God, that would be the best. And that hit me once I said this about the babies, I do love my time on here with you guys and sharing my babies. But I would say that bigger than that would be my time with God. If I get my time with God, you know, and, and have that as a routine, I love it. I, I do love that time with God. Um, so, but the one thing I do every day is work with the babies. So it's a, you know, I'm not going to compare that to that because obviously my time with God is the best, absolutely the best. Um, and it would be my favorite part of my daily routine. When it is my daily routine, it is my favorite part is when I do spend it with him because I feel so much better then. So yeah, but I love my time with my babies too. I love when I can share them with you guys. Great tag, Ann. Thank you for hosting this. I will tag you. And you guys definitely do that tag and um, tag Ann dolls in the cradle. Make sure... Um, you tag her if you do this tag. And um, thank you, Anne, for hosting it. It was great uh, questions, and I had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed Oshi and uh, her spotlight and her changing her first fall outfit. She looks adorable. And she's now going to blow you guys a kiss. Mwah. Say, I love God, Mommy, Daddy, all my aunties and uncles, the grandmas and grandpas out there. Did I say it right? Grandmas and grandpas out there? Yep. And all of my cousins out there, too, say, yeah. Say, I do, and I love Minnie, our fur baby. And I love you guys as well. Mwah. But remember, God loves you the most. Get your salvation. But don't just get your salvation, and that's it. Get your salvation, but also be reading the word and living by it. It's important to be that Christian that God wants us to be. I love you guys very much. Everybody take care. God bless, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Thank <laughs> you.